units of the defense forces of Ukraine have repelled Russian attacks outside 25 settlements in the past 24 hours. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine said this in a post on Facebook, Ukraineform reports. Over the past 24 hours, units of the defense forces of Ukraine have repelled attacks by occupiers outside 25 settlements, including Masyativka in the Kharkiv region. Pidkuichansk, Dobrova and Bylohorivka in the Luhansk region and Verkhneokamiansky, Vesel, Yakovlivka, Bakhmutsky, Bakhmut, Vodian, Piski, Nevelsky, Marinka, Novomikhailivka and Prekostivka in the Donetsk region, the report read. At the same time, the enemy launched five missile strikes and 16 airstrikes and carried out 61 attacks using multiple launch rocket systems. As a result, the civilian infrastructure suffered extensive damage and the civilian population in Kherson, Koshchantanivka and Vivchansk was affected. On December 19, Ukrainian forces struck a Russian military personnel and equipment area near Vasilivka in the Kherson region, destroying eight pieces of military equipment of various types. Information on casualties is being clarified. Since December 12, the Russian occupation forces have been preparing for the forced evacuation of Ukrainian citizens living in the city of Vasilivka and nearby settlements of the Vasilivka district, Zaporizhia region. In the past day, the aircraft of the Defense Forces of Ukraine launched 10 strikes on Russian military personnel and equipment areas and 12 strikes on the positions of the enemy's anti-aircraft missile systems. Units of the missile troops and artillery of the Defense Forces of Ukraine hit the enemy's ammunition depot, three command posts and 10 military personnel areas. The relevant statement was made by Sumy Regional Military Administration head Dmitro Shavitsky on Telegram, and Ukraine Forum correspondent reports. Today Russians have been shelling the Zenob Novhorodsky community with mortars. 19 mortar shells exploded within the border areas. No casualties or destructions were reported, Shavitsky wrote. A reminder that, on December 20, 2022, Ukrainian border guards shot down an enemy reconnaissance drone in the Sumy region. In the conditions when the energy system is hit almost every day, it is simply impossible to make any predictions about the restoration of a stable energy supply. The local authorities should not create inflated expectations. After all, Parallel to the attack against our energy industry, Russia is conducting informational and psychological operations in order to sow panic and despair. Prime Minister of Ukraine Denis Shmyl said at the cabinet's meeting, and Ukraine Forum correspondent reports. He emphasized that the Ukrainians are warned that electricity may be supplied only a few hours a day. The situation with the energy system can either improve or worsen depending on the intensity and scale of new Russian attacks. Russian terrorists will make every effort to leave Ukrainians without electricity ahead of the new year. It is important for them that Christmas and the new year in Ukraine be spent in darkness. Therefore, we must get ready for new attacks, Shmyl added. As reported, on the night of December 19, Russia launched another massive drone attack. The Air Force shot down 30 drones out of 35 launched. 